Do you know why you should use count rows instead of count in your DAX measure in Power BI when you want to well, count rows? Because I see a lot of people using count when they want to count rows in a table. And I have an example table with like 300 rows and I used both of them, count and count rows, and it looks the same. So why should I use one or the other? The problem with count is it does not take into account if there are any blank values. So your count will actually be off when there's a blank value in your table. And I will show you this. Here we are in Power BI. I have my count and my count row statement. I can open them for you. This is my count rows where I say sales orders count rows count rows of sales and sales that's my table. So what the count row statement does is it goes to the table and counts every row. If we go to the table, this is my table. It really looks at every row and counts them. There we have also our count statement. And what does the count statement do? It looks at a specific column in a table. So this would look at the date column in my sales table here, and then it counts them. And here we are lucky because every value in my column is filled, which means the result is the same. But what happens now if we have blank values in that table? So let's go to the table again and sort it. And here now we have two blank values. Someone forgot to add a date here. But if we look at the bottom, we see there are still 300 rows. So the correct answer of how many rows are in this table would be 300. If I go to my report view, now I see that the count statement gives me back 298 instead of 300, simply because it does not take into account that there are blank values. They will just be ignored. So if you want to really count how many rows a table has, I would advise you use the count row statement and not the count statement. Hope this helps.